So Provoked is really an exploration of the relationship really between restoration comedies, which are these funny, very kind of um, wordy plays from the 17th century, and hip hop and rap elements of today. We see a group of actors who come into a room without a director and are forced to find a way of rehearsing these plays. But as they do that, a kind of anarchy starts to grow where they question the relevance of what the plays are talking about and how they relate to their lives. I was really excited to um, delve into the stuff like toxic masculinity, the role of um, a woman in society, um, uh, erasure of race. It's very relevant to now and it feels so important that we do it today, right here, right now, in this place, in this country and yeah. This school in its 100 plus year history hasn't done anything like this before and I think it just struck such a deep chord with people in this building. But then to go further into it and refine things with the help of now Vicky who's, who's joined us as well in terms of the choreography and, and directing us too with Jamie. Finding more depth to our characters for that matter that we play in the restoration scenes and also to, to go deeper with the issues that we are tackling regarding gender, regarding race, which is something again that I mean, we as actors need to really tackle, so it's just something which is very exhilarating. Yeah? You know that this is, you want to be a part of something like this, which is going to bring a change. Restoration comedy is one of those things that you always touch upon as part of your drama training. And there's a really good reason for that in lots of ways in that it requires this incredible technique, um, ability to kind of dazzle verbally, um, a kind of very specific physicality. But also in terms of the modern world, the plays also contain really old fashioned views. So for me, what was really exciting and really important was to show that it's there's, there's good in these things and there's lots of things we can learn from them, but we have to see them in a new context. So it felt for me a very exciting way of exploring really important questions of today that feel very relevant, but also in relation to the reality of a drama training for any actor to go, okay, if I approach this part, what could I bring of myself and what are the things about this text or this story that actually I don't feel are relevant to my life? It's a rare moment, I think, throughout my training where I've been able to speak about something that I'm passionate about, to speak about something that um, is of a non-white culture, well, started from like a non-white origin, essentially, and share the knowledge of its origin so that we um, lift it up and we like really pay homage to it as opposed to like gentrifying it or appropriating it or just doing like a caricature or a stereotypical kind of picture of it so that you know it's just celebrated this is amazing i think this is the first time i'm playing my ethnicity in a production and uh, i'm just very grateful that i can bring my world mumbai and india for that matter my Indian roots into this. It's about a group of people coming together from from all their different backgrounds and all the different places they come from and like all the different life experiences and finding um, like a like a a place together and like a way of working together, which I think is really exciting. With these characters that they're so used to seeing, you know, being played by by white men for a long time. And when you see it being done by these other actors with their cultural backgrounds, it just brings your world closer. You understand different cultures, you understand different beings as well. And that's what it should be at the end of the day. And that's how we can change the world. That's how theatre can change the world. Yeah, I genuinely feel like this is going to be a defining... This production is going to really redefine the school. Yeah.